Erica Nichols Fraser, and I'm a Poetry Developmental Editor, or DE, with Creator Institute. This video will share some tips and things to consider as you draft your poetry collection for publication. First of all, I know for some of you this may be the first time you've ever shared your personal private poetry, and it can be a daunting process at first. But I promise you'll work with a supportive, encouraging DE who has experience helping poets craft their collections. You're in good hands. And remember, your DE can offer one person's opinion, albeit a well-informed and experienced opinion, but ultimately it's your book and you get to call the shots. One of the things I love about poetry is there aren't really any rules, unless you're working in a particular form, such as a sonnet, puzzle, or pantoum, but you can learn more about that in the poetry tools your DE will share with you. You get to decide how to craft stanzas, line breaks, whether to use a rhyme scheme, alliteration, metaphors, or analogies. You're in the driver's seat. Your DE will review each poem you share thoroughly and make comments based on our poetry checklist that you'll review with them in one of your early meetings. While not every poem will necessarily have every item on the checklist, if an item is missing, it should be intentional. Your DE will look out for things like structure, form, themes, styles, and literary devices like alliteration or metaphor. They'll comment on their overall impression of each poem and provide specific suggestions for ways to really make it shine. Some things to think about. Be consistent in your poems. If you introduce a rhyme scheme at the beginning, make sure you maintain it throughout the poem. Use the same tense and point of view throughout. Read your poetry out loud. I like to tap out the beat as I read, which helps you identify any areas that are inconsistent, slow down the pace or flow of the poem or bump the reader out. Be specific and provide details whenever possible. Avoid generalizations, vague statements and cliches. The more unique the poem is to your voice, the stronger it will be. Use clear, active language. Sometimes poets overcomplicate things by trying to use big words and sound sophisticated and end up just confusing the reader. Keep it simple. Try out different styles of poems. Play with structure and form. Now's the time to experiment and find your own unique voice. Don't be afraid to try something new and different. And perhaps the most important point of all, read poetry a lot. Read widely and diversely. Your DE can help make suggestions of poets you may want to check out. We also have lots of resources we suggest you take a look at. You may want to read a poem once to get your overall impressions, what the poem makes you feel, then read it again closely to study what these poets do and how they do it. What choices are they making in terms of language, structure, form, voice, style? How do they craft line breaks and stanzas? How are they using metaphor, analogies, or similes, imagery? What else do you notice? Your DE can help point out these things. You may want to read anthologies of poetry, which include work from many different poets to get a sense of different styles. And you should definitely look at some individual poets' collections as you start to put your own poems together to get a sense of how they structure their collections, whether there's a narrative or emotional arc, a flow, thematic parts, and so on. Structuring the collection comes last once you've actually written the poems, but you may have some general ideas about overarching themes you want the poems to fit under, which is great. If you don't yet, no problem. Just get writing and see what happens. Themes will likely emerge. Your DE can help you figure out how you want to structure the book and the overall flow of the poems. I know this process can be a little intimidating, but you've got a good team on your side and we're here to help. Communicate with your DE regularly and you'll be fine. Remember, you're going to have your own poetry collection, a book with your name on the cover so soon. And that's definitely something to be proud about. Happy writing.